How's it going guys? Uh, version 1, the full release of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator has come out. Uh, it did say it came out on the 1st of June, although I think it was quite late for the UK. It might have been still on first, it might have been on the 2nd, but regardless, I was in bed when it came out. So, uh, I'm going to have a look now at what the new one offers, and then do a few little battles for you. Um, so I know there's new maps, there's ooh, three new maps, I think. Flat Test World was there already. World of Imperium, which looks like a nice... That's for the Colosseum, which is quite cool. So we can have a few one-on-ones in there. Volcano, that's awesome. We need to get uh, Wesker. <laughs> so you can do that battle, re that battle. And Modern City. Uh, not that built up, but pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Wood of Imperium. We'll probably start on there. Uh, right, so look at the units. Now, I know there's a few more units added. Uh, they're all the same. In fact... We need to do this better on unit customization. Oh, so they're all new, and they're all they're all the same, rather. Uh, dwarf was in before. Ah, giant cyclops is one of the new units. Can't spin them around. That's pretty cool. Projectiles, catapult, rock, bullet, arrow. Chosen from melee to range pretty cool which you could do before but you know it's nice to German soldier excellent skeleton warrior oh Jason the Argonaut style get the Greeks versus the uh, skeleton warriors that's really cool I like that um, and running zombie excellent so they're the basic units. I know there's more heroes. So there's new heroes as well. So let's have a look at those. Heroes. We've got the Elven Huntress and the Soul Tyrant. Excellent. So I think that's all the new units they have to offer for the moment. But I'm looking forward to seeing how these play out. Um, so, for the moment, let's see what these guys do in the reality of this game. Um, so, we'll try the new heroes against each other. We'll try the Elven Huntress versus the Soul Tyrant. Whatever they might be. So, let's put them in the Colosseum. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can get them accurately done. So, that looks pretty cool. Um, the Elven Huntress, I believe, is um, a ranged unit, so there we are. All right, let's start this up, see how it goes. But yeah, I'm look. This this game is going to keep growing. Um, I mean, it's going to be. I think there's new music as well. I think that's new music playing. I'm not quite sure if it is new music. I can't remember. It sounds like new music. Um, but this game's going to keep growing. Um, let's have a look at the maps as well. That'll be another thing to look through. Loading units. So here we have the Elven Huntress. Excellent. Really nice detailing on the uh, tattoos and stuff. And, ooh, he's cool. He looks like he can lead the uh, forces of the undead, which I think we'll do. Okay. That's a nice addition. Right, here we go. You selected God Power. Is there new God Powers? Hmm. I think the Soul Tyrant's going to win this purely because he's got a massive sword. Oh! Shit! Fucking hell. Uh, fair enough. Well, there we have that one. Um, let's just, before we go back on, is there a way to toggle different God Powers? Because that's the nuke. Oh, shit. Okay, the people in the Colosseum die from that. Excellent. Oh, actually, while we're on this map, let's have a little fly through. Bridges, basically the same from all the other ones. You've got like a nice little run up to the Colosseum. Can you? Ooh, 
I think that means that you can go into objects like doorways and stuff. So we've got a nice run up to the main city. Oh, is this is this an extension of the original map with the castle? Because there's is that the same castle? Or is that no? That's a different castle. But you could have sieges of the two castles. That's quite cool. Got a nice ah. That's a quite high mountainous top. Be nice to see if archers can fire off there into an arm below, which they probably can. That's pretty cool. So you got an army starting up here, and they could charge down and have multiple stages to the battle. This is really cool. It's a really cool map. I don't know if you can toggle different god powers yet, but I'm assuming they're going to add like twisters, volcanoes, that kind of thing. Excellent, right. Okay, so as you say, this is going to be a rundown of the new characters, and I'm not going to, it's not going to be as long as some of the other videos on it, but we'll try some of the different units. So that's the two hero units that are new. We can have the classic German soldiers <laughs> versus US soldiers. Whoops. So 250 each. We'll do it in the Colosseum. They'll just shoot at each other until the one are dead. But let's see how the new German soldier... It's interesting because they've got a bolt action rifle, it looks like. So I wonder if that will play into it or they'll be slower firing or they'll be faster firing. Try a different map after this. Okay. It's nice still they have this... this oh, I don't know, it's, it's just going to be so good. Right, so here we are. Let's have a look at the German soldiers. Yeah, they've got... Is that the Gwea? Or the car? It looks like the car 98, what they've got. Yeah, car 98 or whatever it's called. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, they're much slower at firing. So they are going to get absolutely manhandled. The thing the next thing you need to add in is um, sort of Civil War troops, British uh, footmen and that kind of thing, musketeers, that kind of era. So, so yeah, the World War Two Nazis, the German soldiers rather, are kind of underpowered. They need to add a rifleman uh, class to the US soldiers to make it a bit more frenzy because then you can have uh like make up if they could make up like uh what do you call them squads and companies so you can have like the sergeant having a submachine gun and then the rest having rifles you could pro make better things and just because let's get the nuke on the go uh, yeah Explosions. Okay. We'll try one of the new maps. Oh man, it's sweltering. Absolutely sweltering. Okay. I wish you didn't keep going back to the main menu. Alright, War of Imperium. Volcano. Yeah. Wait, how much space is there around the volcano? Or is the volcano it? It looks like there's some space here. Uh so Oh, maybe the giant ogre? Giant cyclops, rather. The giant cyclops... Is, they're going to fall in. Have them around the rim. Uh, let's try a new unit out. Wait. Uh, oh, one of the new units was evil. Skeleton warriors. Proper Jason the Argonaut style. Um, I believe he's going to be fucked up, so we'll whack him up to 500. And their range, so these skeletons will attack them. If 
from range. So let's go for it. So we'll, again, once we've once I've finished, we'll just go run one of my units into the volcano and see what happens, because that's what you do. Hmm. Not the right. Ooh, hello. Oh, it runs down. Oh, excellent. That is going to. Oh, it's a shame that it runs down before the battle starts, because that could that could easily. Oh, we could have a race, a run it. That could easily go in from the middle of two units. That's so cool. It looks like it will reset itself as well when it gets to the bottom. That's so cool. That's a nice addition. I like it. Right, so... Okay, there's not much space around here for them to fight. Let's see if this resets. Oh shit, remaining Cyclops is 31. Uh, oops. It appears that majority of them have already fallen victim to inside here. Somewhere. <laughs> Whoops. Is it going to reset? Oh, it resets. Oh, oh, it goes somewhere else. Oh. The possibilities. Wait, does it go somewhere else? Or is it the same path? Oh, wait, that might be the same path. Oh, that's a shame. That could, that could have possibilities in combat. Is there another? Oh! <gasps> Oh, <gasps> there's more. Oh, that's epic. That'd be cool. That's awesome. Anyway, sorry, we need to start this battle, but that's just that's giving me uh, good ideas. Go. Oh sh. Oh god. <laughs> Why do they have blood? That's what they need to sort out. Gone with the little skeletons. Oh, the skeletons are fucked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Poor skeletons. No. Oh, oh dear. Anyway, it's just a test light. Let's take control of this Cyclops. Run, Cyclops. Into destiny. Go, go, go. Oh, he doesn't melt. That would have been cool if he melted. Huh. Maybe it's because the battle's over, it stops flowing, perhaps? Excellent. Right, we'll try the last map. The running zombies. You could do a chase thing, I think. That'd be quite a cool thing to do. Running zombies. Oh, modern sea. Them. Running from the outside. You got people on top of roofs. A sniper would be good to have. So, oops. Let's have a lot of them. And then, what we're reckoning? Let's just double check, there's no new. Nope. Right, we'll have the German soldiers. I want to see what the bot action rifle's like. Okay. What are the different weathers? Nope. Okay, right, this is the last one. And then I'll probably, I'll do some battles and stuff like that, I think. Uh, some individual ones. I've got a few cooking up in my head. Uh, I'll, oh, actually, before, uh, after this battle, I'll just check the option menu for you guys just to see if there's any new options, any new, any new uh, things you can do. So here they are. Oh my god, I wonder how fast... You can probably make them so they're like super, super fast. But I think uh, a running a race would be good, actually. Who's the fastest and who can outrun the zombies? I wonder if they, I wonder if they explode. That's a good test. Oh, cars. Oh, this map's cool. 
Can you get into the buildings? Oh, actually, oh, there's a doorway and stairs. Oh, I've felt into attack. Oops, never mind. While. <laughs> nope. See if you can get inside the buildings. We're already starting to fight. Oops. Let's watch this. Here they come. Actually, rather fast. No, they're bot action, I suppose they are. Oh god. It'd be good if they can have some animations like jumping on them and stuff and ripping them apart. More complex animations. Hmm, I think it's obvious who's gonna win this. Oh, this is cool. Uh, you can have a proper zombie invasion with these guys. Excellent. Nice. Go a little run through to see if there's anything, any secrets or something that we can hide in. Oh, that'd be cool. It'd be cool if we could jump on top of the. Um, right. When there's one last guy, I'm gonna like this guy. I think I'm gonna take over him, and run and see if I can get away. Take control of him. Why can't I take control? Run. God, you suck! You're so slow! Ah! <laughs> okay, there we are. So, the running zombies have defeated the might of the Reich. Oh, that's a shame that leads to nowhere. So yeah, it's quite a basic one, actually. This, this city map's kind of disappointing. But it looks like... Oh. Is there a stairwell? There's a fire inside it. It doesn't look like you can... I suppose, is that a door? No. No, maybe you can't get inside the buildings. Well, there we have it, guys. The release of... Uh, version 1, the full release, added some nice new units, some nice new maps. Let's check the options menu for you and then I am out of here. Right, any new options? Infinite body pile height. I don't know if that was there before. I don't think it was. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. But infinite body pile height, that would be pretty cool. See how high it can actually stack. Strictly for entertainment purposes. I might have to do that. See who's the biggest body power height. Huh. God power. Use number key to change god powers. So there is another god power. God, I could have missed this. Uh, <coughs> I should really check the patch notes. I'm an idiot. Right, let's, let's do this. Let's see what the other god power is. What? Okay. Uh, number keys. One, two, three. Oh, one and two. Nuke and wind. Wind. So is that a hurricane or what? Uh, we'll do it. Uh, we'll do it on the zombies first. Uh, okay. N. 
Oh, whoops. Okay, weird. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, do I need to look, be looking down? I don't understand. Oh, right, okay. All oh, right. You just look, and then wherever you're looking below you, it'll blow them around. Does it, does it kill them? Try at the back here. Um, I have to say this isn't the coolest. Wait, can I hold it down? Oh, okay, I do apologize. This is pretty cool. You've got to hold it down in order to... So it's like um, you breathing, fusradaring. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, you have to hold it down. <laughs> Whee! Wait, can you play keep your piece with them? I gotta do some claw grip here. Can you do it whilst? <laughs> Brilliant. Love it. Right. There we have it, guys. I think that's it, all it has to offer for now. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know what you want to be added to the game in the future. Unit types, god powers, that kind of thing. Uh, this game's got tons of potential. Uh, it's on sale at the moment, I believe, for 10% off. I uh, highly recommend picking it up when it's full release because it's a load of fun. You can have a load of fun with your mates, like bet on things, bet on who's going to win, different scenarios, that kind of thing. So, you know, it's it's pretty fun. So definitely pick it up if you've got a spare cash lying around. Uh, wait for a Steam sale. If not, I'm sure it'll go pretty cheap in a Steam sale to get shift more units. Uh, yeah, really thoroughly enjoying it, and I can't wait to see what they bring into the game in the near future. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.